What is going on? How's everybody doing? You doing good, all right? Yeah! Hey, hey! What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm doing a review on a device that I picked up. Not for the purposes of the review, but for your viewing pleasure, because that's what I'm here for. No longer am I going to be doing any more reviews just for myself. It's going to be all about you. Or for your laughter. This is the deal. Brie got me a bunch of shit. She said, Jay, I'm going to do an order from this website that sells absolutely no-name shit. Got pumped up. I said, okay, cool. That's no problem, because sometimes innovation is found in the most awkward of devices. Till I picked this up. This is one of these drippers. First off, I, I don't even know how you would come across on finding this. You have to go out of your way to look for this dripper. Now, if I didn't tell you the name of this and it wasn't in the title, I guarantee you trying to find this dripper is not easy at all because the company that makes it is like fucking Bobby's Shed. You know, that's. It's made out of aluminum foil and saran wrap. There's no metal on it. All the metal is just wrapped ceramic, gold-plated ceramic. A lot of what I'm saying makes absolutely zero sense, and it's not absolutely true. All of it is fictitious is what I'm saying. But what is not fictitious is the size of this. 18 millimeters. Okay, you can't make a dripper that's 18 millimeters in a market where we're going up. That's like saying... Oh, that your ex-boyfriend had that really large cock. I got that dainty one. Let's see if we can make it adapt. That's not gonna work, man. That's not gonna work. You're gonna be shit out of luck for the next six months while she extrapolates your penis. I think adapt was the word I was looking for. Let me extrapolate as explain. Well, I guess you could explain your penis because if it's really that small, it definitely does need an explanation. <laughs> Three and a quarter is what I'm working with. Holla at your boy, woo woo! So I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. We're gonna bring this down. This is gonna be an absolutely joyous, pleasant time. Cause not only are you going to learn something about the most silliest dripper, you're also going to see me lose my mind. It's like going into it, I know that there's a problem, but yet I still go into it when I know that there's a problem. You would think I'd be like, ah, I don't know if I should do that. You know what it is? It's that, what is it? The, the beast of the nature or the fear of the nature. We don't want to be scared. No one likes to be scared. That's why we jump because you scare us, but we still walk into horror houses knowing we're gonna get scared. We're going entirely too far with this. But what we're talking about, uh, th I think this is called the flower. No, <laughs> we might as well call it the flower. Watch it bloom. Uh oh, butterfly. I let you boy. E Tower RDA. Don't know, don't care. But I'm sure you will when we go there. What? You can see I'm practicing my rapping career. Let's flip it. This is gonna be the most joyous time ever. So what we're looking at is the Flower RDA. This thing is the exact opposite of a tower. It's more like a garden gnome or a sand castle. Even a sand castle would be larger than this is. Really not a whole lot going on here. Flower RDA, some yippee yap here made in China. That's eh, about all. Open that up. Before we get into the dripper, you have a peripheral pouch which has a Barbie screwdriver. One really, really, Really large ass squonk pen. Oddly enough, I think the squonk pen is actually bigger than the dripper. I can't even open it. This, this is one of those cheap bags. You know, the kind where the plastic is so thin, you just can't get a hold of it. Post screws down there, which look like they belong on micro machines and an Allen key and some extra O-rings. But of course, the most important thing of this whole review is this guy right here. 18 millimeter dripper, absolutely not. The only people that could get away with doing drippers of this caliber that are this small is high-end companies. The only one that I could think of that's actually this small, the Origin, the Norbert, and I believe the Otis... 18 and this is a new thing tell me what's the first thing you think of when you look at that go ahead if you said butt plug you're right if you're ever in doubt and you really just you're lacking in that department and you need to go to the old porn shop to pick some jammies up don't worry about it you got this in your hand or on your dripper dual purpose rda very rarely will you see this happen where you can actually use an rda for a butt plug and to vape off of. You see the airflow on that thing? Yeah. Let's just go over this. Drip tip on the top looks like a pinky fingernail. <laughs> 
what is this? Like, what? what is this drip tip? On the bottom, they didn't have any room for any kind of marking, so they just left it for the 510. There's your airflow. Dual. The design of this is absolutely huge. And of course, if you want to make this a 22 millimeter, you take this ugly ass ring, you put that on the bottom, and now you have a UFO style dildo. Guys, when I tell you there's no real estate on the bottom, there's none. What would you even put this on? So this is the inside. It's not even a matter of whether or not it's conical on the top. The whole thing is a cone. Basically, if you took like a hazard cone that you would find on the road and then build metal around it, this would be it. And then the deck. The deck reminds me of a sub-tank OCC rebuildable deck. Hmm? That almost looks like it's a deck for an RTA, not an RDA. And then how do you get the coil down there? Okay, so it's not at an angle or a pitch. It's a straight shot. But it's very, very low set. And there's no cuts in this. I don't even know how anybody could take this thing serious, for real. I'm not saying that this needs to be perfect, but at least they could have added a ledge so I could get the coil down that low. You know, listen, I'm not even quite sure why anybody would buy this. 20 gauge... I believe that's either six or seven wraps. It doesn't even matter. Fits in really nice. We would have to do it so it's lower like this. So the coil is low set. So we'll do one here. This is going to be a little bit of a mess here. Guys, don't, don't do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't do this. We're just threading this on down here. 20 gauge thick enough. Don't have to worry about wrapping nothing. There you go. Looks good, yeah? It's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I'm not even going to straighten it. That's how we're gonna leave it, just like that. Because I feel like that's gonna get the most amount of airflow. It's a little cockeyed, but so is this dripper, so why the hell not? There's only one way to do it, you know what I mean? There's that saying, go big or go home. Not me, I just, I'm just going home. Almost, Charlie Dickens. Go home, Carmen San Diego. Here we go, let's wick it up. And we're good to go, just like that. It's all wicked up really, really nice. We should get really good saturation here. I think that there'll be a better way of doing it if we just take all of this and just kind of put it like a ball, stuff that in there, just like that. And now you have really, really good airflow wicking capabilities at this point. If you're not getting good adequate airflow with this, you have a little too much cotton, all you're gonna wanna do is just take whatever you were using to put the cotton inside of the dripper, whether your fingernail, if it's long enough, just take something and just poke it, just like that. All that's gonna do is just really open that up, saturate that up, absolutely delightful looking little treat. That's it, so this is the Flower RDA, 18 millimeters, keeping it strong and long. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys, here we are back on the top of the F Tower RDA by YC Vapes. Absolutely ridiculous. That drip tip on the top does not belong on this, but I felt like it was just right. It's custom, it feels good, it works well. Kind of looks like a mushroom stamp or a warhead. The thing. Someone apparently doesn't know how to leave me the fuck alone. This is, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why anybody would seek this out. I don't. Aside from the reason why it was seeked out for me was just to make a mockery of it. I don't know of anything else that this company made. Maybe they have a pocket jammy type deal. Maybe a fleshlight. They might have other goodies for the other realm. The problem I'm having is the amount of machine oil that's inside of this. Sure, I could have cleaned it out like every other normal fucking human being in the world. Or I could have put some soap in it. But you know what? I wanted to keep it authentic. I wanted to keep that rust taste inside of the dripper. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to bring this in a little bit. I'm going to show you how this works. Watch this. That wasn't dirty. I know you... Oh... Oh, oh, I didn't think to, oh God, I'm getting sick. <laughs> oh God, oh. oh, I didn't think that there would be machine oil on the outside of this. I thought it was only on the inside. What does that tell you? Instead of just boxing shit up that you had K-Way on it, you should have cleaned it better because now the people that get it we're gonna have to taste what you use for lubrication. I don't even wanna vape this like I don't because it tastes gross. 0 0.24 at 32.5 watts.
Oh my god! Ah! I don't. Uh, I don't feel. I don't feel there's anything that I could put in this that will douse that away. You can't even take me serious when I'm vaping this. All right, let me man up. Let me man up and take it on the chin. Everything you just saw me vape, that's from a rim. That's. <laughs> I just blew out what was equivalent to a muffler. What's gonna happen is this whole playlist of ridiculous strippers are not gonna get ratings because we know where I'm going with it. There's just absolutely no way in hell I could give any of these accurate ratings for what they are. If we're going in the other field of what they look like, then absolutely. As a butt plug, I'd give this like a 5.56. But as it is, as a dripper, there's no way. I think I got pubic hair in my mouth. <laughs> Do you understand what I have to go through for your entertainment? I got pubic hair, KY jelly, and metal in my mouth. And do you see what this looks like? You cannot honestly tell me that doesn't remind you of certain things. Sure, I could take the drip tip off. It makes it look a little bit better. But if I had, you know it'd be cool? If I had a 510 that had sort of like an umbrella thing going on. This is just to show people what's out there on the market that people are buying. If there is somebody out there that really does own this, please send me a screenshot. Show me how you use it. I don't care which way you use it, just show me. If you vape on it, if you rub on it, stay between your toes, up your nose. This is the thing. Looks absolutely silly as hell. Make sure this is really saturated up. I'm trying to get past the machine oil. Like, all jokes aside, not trying to be funny, it's very, very difficult. And lining up the airflow on this, doesn't even really matter do I have to really critique this, aside from just the aesthetics of this alone. She knows. Oh. oh my god. At the end of this video, there's going to be a little block which is going to give you the playlist of all the ridiculous things. Uh, it's not like I'm running out of items to do reviews on. It's just that, you know what? I gotta change this up. Since the real people that do real drippers can't be innovative enough, I'm gonna go to the other shit companies that are absolutely nobodies to try to get one of them to do something that's really innovative. Funny story is, a lot of these awkward devices, drippers, tanks, have really nice innovations. They're just executed very, very poorly. And it's clear what their background is. Like, it, it, it's very transparent. There's no hiding that. You're obviously from the sex realm. I'm telling you, there's gonna be ass load, no pun intended, of all these different things, which I'll post the link at the end of this video. And I've kept it real. Have you, or have they, Triple, triple, butt, plug, what? Jay Hayes out.